set our clocks forward. It happens at 2 in the morning, so sunrise tomorrow is at 7.15. Sun sets closer to 7 o'clock at night, so that will be nice, especially once we get the sun back, which will be sort of hard to see this weekend. A little sliver of sun off towards the north this morning, but now it's mostly cloudy, especially south and east of the capital region, and it will remain that way for most of this weekend, as mentioned. We see that in our Freihofer sky came in Schenectady. You'll notice the clouds and also the wind blowing around the flag there as we look down State Street. But we're dry and we will remain dry throughout, I think, the bulk of the morning hours and the first few hours of the afternoon before this hunk of moisture moves on in. And there's a lot of it. It connects all the way back down to the Gulf of Mexico, and this is all heading in our direction over the next 12 to 24 hours, and then lasting a bit longer, especially over the higher terrain. So first of all, this afternoon, again, 1, 2 o'clock through that time frame, most of us are dry, and then after we get around the 3 o'clock time frame, that's when showers start breaking on out. And not just rain showers. Look, look what happens. 5 o'clock, it's snowing over the Catskills, over the Adirondacks, over the Greens. I think places like the Catskills might go over to rain, but through the Adirondacks really could tack on a lot of snow throughout this event. Killington, uh, up towards Stowe, Jay, those uh, ski spots could be adding over 6 to 10 inches of snow. Heavy wet snow to start, and then eventually throughout the course of the system, it, it becomes more of a light, fluffy snow. For the rest of the area, this is a uh, majority rain event. It's possible tomorrow morning after we get through a heavy round of rain in the system, the first wave of the system pulls through. We could maybe see a few snowflakes mixing on in through the valleys. That's part one. The, the bulk of the widespread precipitation ends tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon into Monday there's another piece of upper level energy that will cause some showers to break on out and where there's some upsloping over the greens over the Catskills over the Adirondacks there could be some enhancement so still could be periods off and on all the way through Monday morning even Monday afternoon off towards the east of some locally uh, steady periods of snow, mainly again over the higher terrain, but it's possible tomorrow night some of these snow showers makes it all the way down to the capital region. On top of that, it's a very gusty wind. We'll first talk about the total precipitation. Some of this, of course, is including snow over the higher terrain, but in terms of measurable liquid precip, it's one to two inches, so especially off towards the south, on top of uh, all the rain that we've seen the past week, the ground's pretty saturated, so it could be some river flooding and some minor basement flooding where you get some of these downpours, local street flooding as well. Then the snow potential, higher terrain, it's four to seven inches. Catskills, four to 10, the Adirondacks, same over parts of the greens. And then locally, it could be over 10 inches where you get the most enhancement of the snow through the valleys. This is not a, uh, really not a snowmaker. Again, a few snowflakes could mix on, mix on in during the day tomorrow, early Monday morning, but not anticipating much accumulation. Very elevation dependent. And then the wind gusts, which here's a snapshot at noon on Monday, could be screaming 40 to 50 miles an hour on the backside of the system. So a long duration event in the wind stay breezy all the way from this afternoon through Monday. Speaking of this afternoon, 40 to 45 degrees, valley rain develops its snow mix over 1,500 feet, gusts over 35 miles an hour. Tonight, mid to upper 30s, rain can be steady, mountain snow can be steady, gusts over 30 miles an hour. And then for the day tomorrow, it tapers to more off and on scattered showers across the area, a breezy day, and tomorrow night we do turn much chillier, so those snow showers could make it all the way down to the valleys, upper 20s to low 30s. That's when the winds really start to pick up. Monday's a very chilly day. Feel it's 40 on the thermometer, but it feels like maybe the upper 20s all day long. Tuesday, though, we start our quick warm up, upper 40s. We're near 60 Thursday and Friday, and that's when we'll get to enjoy those extra hours of daylight.